So if you're watching this video, you're one of the two billion people on this planet that uses the web. Now, I don't know if you've ever thought about how the web is built or how it works, um, but the answer might surprise you, right? So there's this amazing resource that almost every single one of us depends on every single day of our lives that is built mostly by volunteers. Now, there are large companies like Mozilla and Google and Microsoft that also put in work uh, to build the web, but the vast majority of the work done to build the web is done by volunteers. And it's done at this organization called the World Wide Web Consortium. Now, the World Wide Web Consortium is this really cool place. It's got a bunch of researchers from around the world that participate. It's got people from industry, people from government. It's basically uh, a, a, an area that everyone can come together and agree on how the next generation of the web is going to work. Okay, so everyone knows who Google is. Uh, Google runs this really great program called the Google Summer of Code. Uh, and the World Wide Web Consortium was picked as one of the organizations that will participate in the Google Summer of Code. Now what this means is that Google will get students, these are students from around the world, the best and the brightest students from around the world, to participate in the program and write uh, open source software for the web. Right? So this is, this is fantastic. We've got some world class students working with a world class organization that builds the core technology for the web. Now, the problem is that uh, Google only has so many slots uh, to assign to the World Wide Web Consortium, and we got about half the number of slots that we actually need. So, the hope is that we can raise enough money to get the other half of the students, and again, these are world-class students, uh, assigned to the World Wide Web Consortium to build some really amazing software for the web. Now, this software is going to help hundreds of millions of people make the web a better place. And I think that is something that is certainly worth supporting. So at this point, you might be wondering why it's so important to get these students on board uh, at the W3C. What are they going to be working on that's so important for the web? Now, there are two major areas that we're going to be uh, working on for the web uh, this summer. Uh, one of them is called uh, Linked Data and the other one is called web payments. Now, linked data has to do with publishing data on the web so that it's easier for uh, people building web applications to read this information in and provide really cool, compelling services. So, for example, if you use, uh, let's say, the Google search, uh, you will notice that whenever you search for anything, uh, there, some of the entries are going to have this rich snippet uh, view of the thing you search for. So if it's a recipe, it'll show you the number of stars, how long it takes to cook the meal, uh, things of that nature. Um, that same technology can be used to recognize people and places and events like concerts on the web. So part of the projects that the students are going to be working on this summer are going to be related to linked data and it's going to be tools that are going to help uh, web developers and web authors uh, create great content for the web. So that's one, one, one set of projects. The other set of projects has to do with web payments. Now, paying for things on the web uh, is not the greatest experience uh, these days. We want to make it really easy to crowdfund bold new initiatives on the web. We want to make it uh, really simple for to pay for things on the web without having things like your credit card number or your bank account stolen. So some of the students are going to spend uh, quite a bit of time building out tools for these new web payment initiatives uh, at the World Wide Web Consortium. Uh, so what's in it for you? Uh, a better web. Right? So these are tools that can help uh, web developers and web authors create really great uh, web applications. They're going to be worked on by the students. The students are going to learn so much this summer uh, by working with some of the greatest minds uh, in the world that develop the web. Uh, and at the same time, they're going to be generating these fantastic open source tools for web developers and web authors around the world to use. We're trying to raise $5,500 per student to work at the W3C over the summer. Now, the students have already gone through a really grueling selection process, and we've only picked the top eight students in the world to work on these projects. If you're a web developer or a web author, these tools are really going to make your life better. 
they're going to make it easier for you to publish data on the web, to show up higher in Google search rankings, and in general make it easier to crowdfund and uh, gather payments from your customers on the web. So the other thing that's really great about this set of projects is these students are going to learn a lot. They're going to learn from the greatest minds on the web. They're going to learn how to build really solid open source projects and you are going to benefit from all of that hard work that they will be doing over the summer. But none of this is going to happen unless you decide to click that funding button and make it happen.